Hello Legends! In this video, I'm going to be going over the new Replit Agent 3. I was lucky enough to get early access, which means I've had some time to get my hands dirty. Now, as a quick bit of background, I've been using Replit for over 12 months. It was one of the first AI coding tools that I started to use, and it's actually the longest AI coding tool that I've been using. So back when my channel had under a thousand subscribers, I actually used Replit to build out this custom coded AI caller series. And as of more recently, I'm using Replit to build out apps and dashboards and portals for both client work and personal work. And one thing I haven't listed here is that in moments where NAN just isn't enough, I actually use Replit to run my automation. So this means I've been using Replit through a lot of its different stages. And this is the first time using Agent 3 where it feels like I've got a full stack developer team directly at my fingertips. Now there's a bunch of features that we're we'll going over in today's video, but by far my favorite feature is this app testing mode. And then a close second is this long running mode. So let me quickly just highlight that app testing mode. So over here, I'm working on this really fun drag and drop daily task manager where you can click onto the app and you can change the title, change the description, change all these different settings. You can add new tasks from here. And you also have this really fun calendar view where you can just click on a blank day and they can have a lot of fun just planning your day on a canvas. So if I go over to the left-hand side tab for the agent mode, while well, Agent 3 was building out this app, he actually tested out the entire functionality for me. So previously, when you have like this QA function in an AI coding tool, they only have access to the code, which means they cannot truly test the functionality of your app. But as you can see over here, there's like this testing agent that ran a number of different tests. Like each of these tabs is a separate test that the agent ran and uh, it spools up this like computer use environment where it's able to open up the task, interact with it. Uh, as you can see here, it's like scanning all the different elements on the screen. It can go, it can type words, it can actually close the task, it can navigate. So it can do all these things that typically a quality assurance tester would have to do. And because it has access to the back end code and now can interact with the actual front end UI, it can find the gaps and pinpoint exactly what's wrong. And then it takes that information and then it gives it off to the actual production agent that will just code up all the changes. All this stuff happens in line in the actual agent experience and you don't have to lift a finger. The cool thing is that after it makes the initial changes, the agent goes back and does a retest. If it finds any more issues, it just keeps iterating through this process until your app's ready to hand off. So as you can see, after this most recent suite of tests, which was very thorough, we can scroll down here. We actually have this report that was created by an architect review. And you can access this entire report as if you were a project manager. So this is the review that was completed, the steps that we're taking, the final verdict, which was a pass. You have critical findings, you have security observations, and then next actions. And like I mentioned before, Agent 3 is very autonomous. So that entire process, like the multiple cycles of testing and iteration, and then finally that report generation, that was all completed within 20 minutes of work. And if you drop down on this tab, and then you have a snapshot of all the work that was done in this stage. The most interesting thing to us is the fact that it took 20 minutes and it cost under $5, which means if you extrapolate this out, it costs under $15 an hour to literally have a full stack development team directly at your fingertips. And the even crazier thing is that you didn't have to hire them and they work fully on demand. So back in the Replit homepage, this chat section is actually the uh, kickoff for the Replit Agent 3. So you just type into here, whatever you want, and then you hit start chat, and then you can have the uh, agent actually plan out the first stage of the build for you. Along the bottom, we have the pre-configurations for uh, different things that we want to build. So for example, web app, we've got these starting examples like landing page or link in bio. Uh, we also have a data app, 3D game general, where you can code or build in any language. And then you have this new agents and automation section. So this is still in beta, which means it's not ready for production use, but I'm actually super interested to see how this thing evolves. Right now we have off the bat, a native integration to Slack, a native integration to Telegram, and then we have time-based triggers, which means you can do something like, hey, every Monday at 9 a.m., can you send me the latest news? Which is exactly what I did over here. So I asked the agent to build me an automation that'll send me the most interesting news about Melbourne every single day. And I built that automation out on a canvas using these four nodes. So we have this time-based trigger, which is set to fire off, I think from my case, every single day. And then I can actually test the automation locally as well. Now, unfortunately, when I click test automation, it actually runs through this entire process, but there is some kind of roadblock somewhere I'm not able to get an email into my inbox to actually show you the output. The agent was spending some time thinking about it, but I just didn't think it was worth the tokens to complete this automation, so I canned it. And as we can see over here, we're eventually gonna have event-based automation as well, which means that you can actually interact with your automation within Replit from different third-party providers. All right, so let's test out Agent 3. So I wanna build a personal productivity tool, which is gonna help me log tasks for my client work. 
I wanna be able to track each task by the client, the type of work, and then the hours spent. I want a nice dashboard to show me all my hours that I'm spending each week. And I'm just giving the context, I'm gonna be using this tool to calculate how to bill for each client. Now I'm also gonna choose web app because I wanna deploy this so I can access it either from my computer or even on my phone. And now I'm just gonna click on start agent. And I actually really like this next step here. So we're actually met with this planning agent that's gonna read our uh, task requirement and understand how we wanna be building out this app. And as you can see, the agent's already planning out um, how the app's gonna be built. So over here we have searching replits integration for database storage. We have some results over here. And now the agent's creating a comprehensive plan for creating this task logging tool. Nice, so at this stage, we have our plan from the agent, which if we wanted to, we can actually just go and click change plan and then keep having a conversation with the agent until we get to the right point. But assuming we have the right balance, we now have two different options over here. So our first option is that we can build an MVP, which means the agent will take like five or 10 minutes, build out some initial high level structure of how this app's gonna look. And then at that point, we can either decide to make some more adjustments or continue with the rest of the production build. Or if the app is simple enough, we might just be happy to just build the entire app out from this very point. My preference is always to start smaller and take incremental steps. So I'm gonna start with the MVP and I'm gonna click on start designing. And now the agent's gonna take that plan that they created and start executing it. All right, nice, so the agent is hard at work. So while we're waiting for the MVP to be built out, I wanna focus on two of these sections in the chat window over here. So the first is this build section. So when I pop this open, I can actually switch the mode of the AI agent. So I can either keep it on build mode where the agent is making things, testing things and iterating through, basically building out your app. Or I can flick across to plan mode where you can ask questions and plan your next steps. So over in that daily task manager that I was showing you earlier in this video, after the agent tested the functionality and delivered that working app for me, I then flicked across to the plan mode and I asked the agent for some suggestions on new features for this app. I then had this really good reply of five different features that we could actually follow through and build out. And then this list of recommendations. And then I ultimately chose one of the recommendations, which was to build out this calendar within the app. So that recommendation actually turned out into this calendar view where you could quickly go onto each day, see what tasks you have for that day. And if you wanted to, you can plan the task out on the canvas as well. Okay, cool. So it looks like our MVP of our task logger is ready. And this looks very nice actually. Okay, so let's check it out. We have the dashboard here. We have the filter week on week, total hours. So we have some dummy data in here, active clients, tasks. I actually like this active clients, uh, estimated revenue. This is cool. Client breakdown, tech corp, design studio, startup X, Y, Z, and breakdown by work type. This is really nice. Now, I don't know that any of this functionality is gonna work. Okay, cool. So for the MVP, oh, actually it does work. Can I actually put, I don't think I can put anything in though. I just put in hello type of work. Oh, wow, it's already pre-filled meeting. Uh, let's just use this toggle. Okay, by uh, quarterly increments. And then date, we can choose here, 19th. And a brief description, um, hello, hello, add task. Okay, so the functionality I think of adding a task doesn't work. So yeah, just for the MVP, this is literally like the bare bones structure of the app. Over here, we have this, day mode and night mode already natively supported. That looks pretty cool. Then I have time entries. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, nice. So tech corp we have here. And then we have reports as well. Yeah, cool. Okay, even export reports. I don't mind that. I didn't even think of that actually. Uh, work by distribution. Okay, for testing, development, design, meeting. I like this. I mean, this is actually, in my opinion, very, very cool. Now let's see if it's responsive. If I go to iPhone 16. Okay, nice. And I can just flick through like this. I can scroll. Yeah, that's amazing. It actually looks nice. Let's go to the dashboard, see how it comes out on a phone. Yeah, that looks neat as well. I really like this app. That looks that looks awesome. Okay, now let's check out how much this costs to make. So over here, let's just zoom in a little bit. We have time worked, six minutes. And then we have $1.03 to make that initial MVP. So that's actually really fast and really cheap. Um, I'm happy with this. I'm just gonna go and say, build out the rest of the functionality. Okay, so while the agent is wrapping up our production version of the app, I wanna quickly go on to agent tools. So over here, we have the ability to turn on and off this app testing mode. So app testing is the same thing that we saw before at the start of this video, where the agent actually gets control of the UI of the app that you're building. It clicks through, presses the button, chooses the options, and actually figures out if there's any issues before you progress with the app. So out of these key benefits, my favorite benefit is that the agent actually produces a better app with fewer mistakes by identifying and addressing issues early on in the stage. 
So some of these things you might not actually catch yourself. And thanks to the agent actually saves you a lot of production time after the fact. And then we have max autonomy mode where your agent can work on longer running tasks more independently. And then for tricky sections or features, you can temporarily flick on this higher power model. So these things mean that your team will be consuming more credits, but that's just because they're doing more work. Okay, so it looks like the agent's ready for us. So up top here, we have a checklist of what they were working on. So manage task information and storage, that's done. Create ways to get task data. Link the screen to a real task data as well. And now check all task features are working. So it looks like the, uh, okay, looks like this is now on us to actually test the app and make sure that it's working and then give the feedback to the agent. So everything is set to zero because this is, okay, brand new app, no more dummy data. I'm just gonna open this up and let's go to log time. So let's go client name, just gonna go Bart, type of work, uh, this is gonna be design and hours, let's just go one hour, that's up today and did some design work at task. Nice, okay, so added one hour of design work for Bart. Let's go into here and just track the, is it time entries, is this where it'll be? Okay, yeah, it is in time entries. Okay, that's really cool. So we can have this here. And now if we go to the dashboard, yes, one hour log for today, $75 for that hour. And then the work breakdown is task. Yeah, nice, that's working correctly, yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we have the agent off to some next steps. So great, I'm glad to hear the application is working. Let me have the architect review my work to ensure everything is properly implemented and then we can mark this complete. Nice. Okay, so this is actually really interesting. So as you guys saw, we just tested the app and um, I mean, I thought everything was fine, but it turns out the agent did its own test after that just in case, um, which was very good that it did because it found some more critical issues. Uh, data wasn't actually persisting, missing billing calculations, and there was a type mismatch between the front end and the back end. So I had no idea this stuff wasn't working. Um, I mean, I didn't even have to configure the database in the first place, but I completely forgot about that. So then the agent went through its process um, and it finally fixed those issues. So it went through, major improvements made, database persistence. It's now upgraded to a Postgres database. We have a billing system enabled and technical improvements, um, some other stuff that was going on. So I'm actually very thankful the agent found those issues and fixed those issues because if I launched this into production and then I like had a, uh, a day's work or a week's worth of work and then I reset the app and then I would have lost absolutely everything. So this is really, really good. Nice, I have uh, the ability to publish the app. So I'm just gonna go through and do this one click publishing. And we can see everything on the right hand side just automatically publishing for us. So this is super easy. And nice, we have our final update from the agent. So the agent's updated new progress. The task logger is complete. The building system is set up. We've got nice UI and the data persists. So that's really cool. And then we have some uh, options here. What would you like to work on next? So animated task completion celebration. Oh, that's actually nice. Uh, AI powered task priority suggestions um, and some other cool stuff. And then coincidentally, the app's been published as well. So let's actually go ahead and check this out. Nice, this is pretty cool. So let's go to log time. Uh, client is Bart. Let's go to uh, documentation. Let's pump it up to two hours. Leave it for today. Wrote some docs, add a task, time entries. Okay, two hours total, that's what we just put in. And dashboard, nice. Let's add another entry as well, actually. So log time, let's go for, yeah, Bart again. And it's a meeting this time. It's one hour. Uh, and I'm gonna say, it actually it happened yesterday, add task. Let's go to our dashboard. Cool, three hours total, one active client. Uh, documentation, we had meeting here. What kind of reports do we get? Nice, this is very neat. Okay, so let's actually check what that final stage of work cost us. Uh, so it was 16 minutes to fix all the stuff that I didn't even catch, to be honest. Um, and it was $2.49. In my opinion, if I actually put that through and I lost like 10 or 20 hours of logged work, I think that would be worth more than this $2.49. Um, but let's go up and see what the previous, like that first stage cost us as well. Okay, so over here we have four minutes and $2.33. So maybe we actually missed, did we miss one section? I thought it was like a dollar before. Whatever it is, it, this is, this entire app has actually cost us like five bucks to make and we've been able to just message one or two messages. It caught the errors for us that we didn't even catch. And then with one click, we just deployed it. Yeah, overall, this has been a really, really cool experience.
um, building with this agent, especially the fact that I'm going to and I'm going to come back to this again and again is that I literally said it was fine and then it went through and did some more checks for me. So that was super fortunate. I do like the idea of kind of integrating some AI into here. I like this animated task completion. What I probably want to do next is kind of figure out how I could have it as a like a little um, attachment somewhere, somewhere on the screen where I can just kind of click start timer and have a timer running for me instead of kind of putting in 15 minute intervals or hour intervals for different tasks. So I reckon that would be my next update. But overall, I'm actually very happy with this app because it took us five minutes to build that MVP, which we were happy with. So we staged it out. And then we spent another 15 minutes just building out the actual production ready app. And that includes the testing that um, I incorrectly thought was fine. So the agent did everything for us. And then what we saw was the one click deployment. So for like 20 or 30 minutes and like five, 10 bucks, uh, this is a really good way to just get like personal solution for yourself. If you guys wanna see me build out something a bit more complicated or advanced, let me know in the comments below. See you in the next one.